In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can install Node on Amazon EC2 instance. For this, first of all, we need to visit this URL, console.aws.amazon. And here, we need to create our account. Once your account is created, you will be able to log in using that account. And then you need to click on this EC2 link that we have. In case you have already created some instances, those will be displayed over here. Before proceeding further, we first of all need to create an EC2 key pair. Now this key pair refers to the public and private keys used to encrypt and decrypt login information. And AWS requires that you use a key pair with every EC2 instance. So in this case, we'll be creating one before proceeding further. Click on this create key pair button. And here you can provide it a name. I'll be giving it a name as skill bakery and then click on create you can see that a skillbakery.pem file has been downloaded as soon as we created this one so you can keep it at a place where you can easily find it now once that's done we need to go back to ec dashboard and click on launch instance here we will be going to aws marketplace and we'll be looking for bitnami we'll go for mean powered by bitnami click on select over here that's a free tier eligible instance and We'll just review it and click on continue over here. Select general purpose T2 micro instance. Click on configure instance details. You can just leave everything as is and then click on add storage. This gives you 10 GB of storage, which is sufficient enough for testing purposes. Then click on tag instance. Here you can provide it a name. So I can say skill bakery and value as mean. Click next configure security group. This is the group that we have. So we'll say mean node and AWS mean node. Click on review and launch and you'll be coming on to review instance launch screen. Here you can see that it says click launch to assign a key pair to your instance and complete the launch process. So all we will be doing over here is clicking on launch and here it will ask for the key pair so from the existing one i'll select skill bakery and then i'll check this checkbox click on launch instance now here you will be presented with this screen the following instances launches have been initiated and you can click on view instances button to see it in action let's give it a name over here and you can see that the status checks currently is initializing once the status checks are complete we will be able to access it here in the browser you can see that i've just entered the public ip address which was provided over here and i'm able to access my instance now let's go ahead and create private key from the pem file that we earlier downloaded while creating the key pair so for that we will be making use of putty gen software as we are working on windows so here I have puttygen.exe file with me, opening it, and then I need to provide the .pem file. You can select all files and then select skillbakery.pem, open it, click on OK. And here you need to just click on save private key, click on yes and give it a name over here. I'll give it the same name which was for the PEM file. Click save now. And that way we have created our .ppk file. And now we will be making use of putty. Here I'll be giving name to my instance. So I'll write it as a skill bakery. And then over here, I'll be providing the public IP address. And then under SSH, I'll go to auth and here I need to provide the new ppk file that I've created. So I'll select skillbakery.ppk, click on open, go back to the session tab and click on save over here. So this gets saved, click on this and then click on open. Click yes to proceed and here let me enlarge it a bit and here I need to log in using this username bitnami press enter now once the connection is successful we can go ahead and see what directories have been created by issuing this command 
and we can see that there are three directories apps htdocs and stack if i take a look at stack these are the dependencies you can see or packages that has been installed already so this way by making use of ssh we have successfully connected to our ec2 instance 